with the with the working man becoming more and more involved in politics, you have to remember that Marx said that this is not how it's supposed to work. What was supposed to happen was that workers were supposed to become increasingly discontented with their conditions while capitalists sought to exploit them. Then there would come a revolution in which the workers would overthrow the capitalists and create a much more equitable society. That wasn't how things were going. First of all, workers, representatives, were now sitting in Parliament and passing legislation favoring workers. But Marx said that Parliament was supposed to be institutions of the capitalists to keep workers in their place. They were not supposed to help alleviate the suffering and conditions of the worker. While after a while, some of these Marxist philosophers, those who followed them, uh, realized that these Marxism had to be modified to fit what was going on. And in 1898, a Marxist and a German parliamentarian uh, named Edward Bernstein published a book known as Evolutionary Socialism. Notice the title, not revolutionary, but evolutionary. That was what Bernstein wanted to say. He declared that class warfare was not inevitable. Rather, democracy made it possible to turn the capitalistic system into something that could benefit both the worker and the capitalist. Since workers now had the right to vote and had political parties to protect them, uh, they did not have to have any sort of plan for revolution. They could achieve what they wanted through democracy. Another blow to Marxist theory had become eight years earlier, in 1891, when Pope Leo XIII issued a famous papal statement known as the New Order, in which he said that the possessing classes had a moral responsibility to improve the conditions of the working class. This was supposed to never have happened, according to Marx. The church was supposed to be the ally of the ruling class and help to, to keep the working class from being uh, oppressed. After Leo XIII issues the statement, new political parties emerged called Christian Socialist Parties, which were parties who voted for social reforms but were loyal to the Catholic Church. They attracted a good number of workers themselves, although they were mainly parties of small shopkeepers and others who felt threatened by big business. Anyway, what all this meant was that by 1914, when World War I was erupting, traditional Marxist philosophy had given way, to mo given way uh, throughout most of continental Europe. The Social Democratic parties were now strong in both voting strength and seats in Parliament. They were loyal to the countries where they existed, including the monarchs of which they were the rulers. The workers were not loyal to other, only to their class, but to their loyalties were like the rest of the population, to the go country, the government, and to the church. And there was good reason. They were better off in 1914 than they had ever been before.